Dipanjana says, after listening to you, I can relate and I lost my interest in this kind of education. I, it was never my intention to make people lose interest in education. Okay, so she says that everything feels boring about it and now I hate it. How would I even prepare for the IIT or others if I know that pre-preparation -pre that these are not useful outside the academic campus? Can you discuss some career options for science students and gu guide more realistically? Okay, look, a long time ago, I, I bought a few self-help books. Like 20 years ago, okay? There was this one that I remember. It's by a guy called, I think it was Stephen Tracy or something like that. His name was. And the book's, book's name was Eat That Frog. I think it's still lying around somewhere in my house. Eat That Frog. So the book's central idea is that at the beginning of the day, when you wake up and you are about to get to work, you should eat the frog. Which means that do the most unpleasant thing first. Get it out of the way so that you can have a nice day after that. Today, if I have five tasks to do and one of them is extremely, is is, is exceptionally unpleasant and difficult, do that first. Get it over with. If it is important. So similarly, if you want to have a good career and a good life, whether you like it or not, a good degree matters. So you have to motivate yourself by telling yourself, I am going to have a successful life and career. And for that, a good degree matters. So that's why you should go through it. Sometimes you have to do unpleasant things in order to enjoy success in the long run. So, and you, you know what? Whatever knowledge and skills you acquire in the IITs, these are actually going to be useful outside the academic campus. Let's say hypothetically, you do mechanical engineering. With that degree and with those skills, you can help the nation by building road, roads and bridges and railway infra infrastructure, you can actually contribute a lot to the nation with those skills. Let's say you do a degree in, in let's say, aeronautical engineering. You can start an aeronautical company or you can join ISRO and work in, in rocket design. You know, in the, in the beginning, when the rocket is going up, it has to go through the atmosphere. In that, aeronautical design comes in very handy. You can design airplanes, you can de design fighter planes. There is so much you can do. So engineering is applied science. It has a huge amount of applications outside the academic campus. You can truly contribute to the nation and you can truly become successful and prosperous and rich with these skills that you acquire in the IITs. Same goes with computer engineering, computer science, all, all those things. There are so many of these skills that are actually valuable and they can really be deployed effectively in real life and they can contribute to yourself, to your success and, and prosperity and to that of the nation. So for science students, especially in the engineering, applied sciences uh, domain, these skills are extremely valuable. So I would say, please focus on these things, especially if you have an inclination towards science. If you're good at science, you should definitely do this. These skills will be valuable. And as the nation grows, as the economy grows, more jobs will be, will be needed. More skilled people will be needed. We need to build an enormous amount of infrastructure. We need to build so much. We have we are at $3.5 trillion. We need to reach at least $10 trillion in the next 10 years. By 2050, we have to be the world's largest economy. It will happen only through the, the, the skills and the knowledge that you acquire through degrees in places like the IITs and the NITs and all that. So I think it's very exciting if you are trying to get into the IIT. I think you should really motivate yourself that you can really do a whole lot of good with such skills and knowledge and degree and you should totally plunge into the preparation it's exciting and when you're preparing you're competing against your peers isn't that fun i mean why do we enjoy sports because it's competition let's see who's the best so why don't you do it and show who's the best yeah so I think you should not be demotivated like this. The problems in the edu education system lie in the humanities, in the so-called social non-sciences, in, in history, these, in, in literature. That's where the education system is totally rotten. In science, it's much better, especially the IITs and the NITs, etc. They still have reasonably good standards. There are issues there also. But once you get the knowledge and the skills and the degree, you can do a lot of good. So please don't be demoralized, demotivated. Go for it and go succeed and contribute to the nation.